Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, dishes to put away and things to put in the dishwasher. Laundry to fold, but I promised I would start the day by revealing what is in the bag. What is in the bag? What is in the bag? Some of you may or may not have guessed correctly. It is not a sawn off shotgun. Sorry, that was an incorrect guess. Sadly, it is not chocolate. That would have been nice. It is not an iron, Daryl. I don't do ironing, it is not an iron. It is not a cake, unfortunately. Some of you got very close and some of you got it exactly wrong. Shall we see? It is a teapot. So yes, for those of you who said teapot, give yourself a thumbs up. Well done those people. At the end of today's video, there will be another item in the bag and you will have to guess what it is. I know, I'm just having a random, bit of randomness. It's just a bit of fun, people, just a bit of fun. Because life is short and we should have fun and enjoy it. So why not have a bit of silliness? Keeps the frowns away, stops the passion. See, if you smile and have a bit of silliness, it's very, very good for the brain. See? And at some point today, I will hide in a random place in my house. You'll have to guess where I'm hiding. You see, I hit 2K and what happens? My brain goes a bit peculiar. But it's all in the name of fun. Because the other thing is, I do try and vary my vlogs, but when I'm at home, it's this sort of stuff, you know? And I have had to reduce the amount of time I have the kids on the videos because I don't want YouTube thinking my channel is for children and demonetizing me and removing my channel or anything like that because I've categorized it wrong. So I do limit the amount of time I now have the kids on the videos. So I have to mix it up with some other interesting things. You know, I've got to keep it, I don't know, I've got to keep it interesting. And uh, so yeah, I'm looking for new ideas, fun things I can do on my blog. And those are just a couple of the random things that we've come up with. Right, I need another cup of tea. I need to put this away. And I need to put these away. So, I'll chat again in a minute. Right, kitchen's tidied. I'm now having some breakfast. Apple rice, apple creamed rice. Mm. And a cup of tea. Now, Harvey has potentially got chicken pox. So he's not here. So I've just got Beth and Finn. Sam and Ollie's mum is taking them to school this morning, but I will be picking them up after school. Um, so it's just Davy to do the school run today, in the morning. Um, and then I've got Beth and Finn. Mm. This is very nice. So yeah, we'll do our Valentine's activities today. Which will be good. I'll work with Beth on the counting boards. And she's already spied up the sensory trays, so I think she'll be enjoying that in a minute too. Mmm. Yum. Right, this is not a mukbang, so I'm going to go and eat this in peace. Scoopy, scoopy. Look, we've got a love bug here as well. It's all glittery oh. when you turn it upside down. It's a snow globe. It's got glittery. It is a ladybird. They call it a love bug. Why? I don't know, they just do. And these smell lovely. If you sniff them. 
smell nice. Smell nice. Yeah. They, they smell nice. Don't they? This candle smells. Candle. Nice. They smell like the candle because the candle smells so nice. Yeah. They do, don't they? They do. One. Can you put one in? Two. Good boy. Can we put another one in? Three. Oh, is it the right way up? Good boy, that's it. Three. Three. <gasps> Three. Four. Is it going in? Good boy. So that's four. One, two, three, four. We'll try another one. Five. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Those are the big ones, aren't they, Finn? Look, big. Big ones, and these ones are small. So the big go on this side, the small go on there. What's this one? Big or small? Where do you think that one goes? No, it goes on the big side. Look, big. Hmm, is that big or small? Hey. Is Big, that's right, Beth. That's a big one. So we put that in the big side. Oh, they're big ones too. Do you want to put the big ones over here? Good boy. Well done. Big one. Okay, this is quite an easy one. Where am I hiding today? Where am I hiding, people? Make your guesses. Make your guesses. Where do you think I'm hiding? Are you ready? My clue to you is it's one of my favourite places in my house. I'm hiding in my house. Are you ready? My bed. I love my bed so much. I'm hiding in my bed. Spring is springing. Look at all the bulbs coming up. Spring is springing. I need to take these old twiggy bits down though. Ready for the new bits of these plants to come up. We should have done that ages ago. I don't claim to be the world's best gardener. Look, new buds. New buds. This is going to be full of new leaves for honeysuckle it's playing in the snow okay you're gonna count the totem poles one two three that's it number three is that your age three totem poles standing tall on the west coast so these are all things that you might find in canada hot yeah, you got to go. You blow. So it's not so hot. Nice. Not so sure. I've made a cheese cracker tower for um for a winter picnic after school. As long as the weather carries on looking so gorgeous out there. While the little ones have their lunch, I'm just giving these cupboard doors a bit of a scrub because they get very grubby and down the side of the dishwasher and stuff. So I've done these ones. Need to do these now. They look a bit cleaner. Not so many tea spills and marks on them. I do need some sticky stuff remover to get rid of the mark on the bottom of that dishwasher where the label was. Five, six, 
seven. That's it. And one more makes, makes seven. seven. What comes after seven? One more. One more. From the tin. Seven. Seven. What comes after seven? Twelve. Not twelve. Should we count them again? One, one two, two, three, five, four, six, six seven. Did a mouse eat your finger? No, a mouse didn't eat my finger. Should we try that again? One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Seven, eight. Eight! Number eight. Well done. Having fun outside? Mm, yeah, but it's nice though. The sun's out. It's quite warm. And these are the they are. That's the bamboo blowing. Why? Who likes to eat bamboo, do you know? Well, we don't eat it, but there's a particular bear that likes to eat it. Do you know? A uh, panda bear. Panda bear, yeah. I don't like it. No, we can't eat it. Panda bears like it. So I've been talking about this new sparkly lamp. It's I know it looks gold there, but it's actually silver. And then these are the new curtains um, that I got. Um, again, silver, but they just, they're not overly thick, but they're a little bit longer and they're not, you know, mouldy and faded and they do, in the evening, brighten this up a lot. They, uh, the light shines off the silvery bits. So, yeah, not as much colour in the room, unfortunately. It does look a bit bland when it's all together, but it's brighter and that's kind of a good thing because this room does get quite dark with all the furniture even though the furniture's light especially this corner for Kenzie trying to get things out of his wardrobe it's very dark in there even though we've used these things but then he leaves the lights on and then you know they don't work um yeah so I've just been through my comments and turns out only two of you guessed correctly for the what's in the bag that surprises me. I had a feeling there was more of you that guessed teapot. Clearly not. Thrifty Grandma, give yourself some points and a thumbs up. And um, Tink, give yourself a pat on the back. Thumbs up. Well done, you two. You are my official winners for today. So I've got to think of something for, for later on to put in the bag. I will try and link it to something to do with today's video. But we'll see. We might be totally around a... Who knows? I will try and link it. I will, to make it a bit easier. Um, yeah, but well done, you guys. Well done. And thank you all for joining in and playing the game and having a good sense of humour because, you know, it is a bit of fun to cheer us all up. So, smile with me, people. Not scary at all. Right then, troops. I'm oh. Let's go home and warm up, shall we? Mind the puddle. You, you've got a big stick attached to your foot. You can play games when you get in yet. Mind the puddles. You can play guess who yet. It's in the cupboard. I've got fruit. And I'm having some mozzarella sticks for my dinner. But they're in the oven. What have you made? Uh, laser... A giant laser. A laser crossbow destroyer. Wow, that's impressive. No, yeah, laser sniper um, crossbow destroyer. Covers all angles then, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've got processed peas and beef casserole in a giant Yorkshire pudding. Nice. I don't know, I've tried it. <laughs> Sounds nice though, doesn't it? Bits of potato and vegetables and all sorts in there. Well, it's that time again, people. It's time for What's in the Bag? If you were observant, you would have seen this. 
in part of today's video. Hmm, let me give you a close up. There is a hint to it, it's a visual hint and I'll have to turn the light off. So hold on. So there you go. What is in the bag today? On that lovely note, I'm going to go and have a bath, which Brendan is lovingly filling for me as we speak and putting bubbles in it for me. So I can go and have a nice lounge with bubbles and, you know, all that jazz. And I will see you, lovely lot, tomorrow. Thanks for watching.